Hey guys, Joe from Eastwood. In this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at the Eastwood Elite Panel Cutting and Deburring System. This is going to be a great option for anyone that's looking to pick up two tools that go hand in hand and save a couple bucks by buying them together. You're getting a great way to cut panels laser straight with the Elite Panel Saw and then clean up the cuts quickly and easily with the high quality Eastwood deburring tool. Now, let's say you have a rusty piece of panel that you're looking to remove and replace. There are a couple tools you can pick for that job, but none of them do it as well as the panel saw can. The angle grinder can be a little bit wavy, and on cars especially, you have to be careful to not cut what's behind the panel. The shears have trouble going around contours. The nibbler and body saw, great for those contours, but not so much for the straight runs. The Eastwood Elite Panel Cutting Saw solves all of those issues and makes laser straight cuts no matter what type of panel it is that you're cutting. So, you have your straight cut, no matter what it is you're forming though, you're going to make a burr. Burrs can cause a bunch of issues with a project and coming in after the cut with the Eastwood deburring tool really makes removing those imperfections very simple, allowing you to easily and accurately patch in a new panel. So starting off with a quick breakdown of the saw, biggest feature I like, laser etched guides inside and outside of the blade on the foot. They're really easy to read, especially if you use some marking fluid or Sharpie to scribe some lines. It makes cutting straight as an arrow very, very easily. Secondly, the handle. Speed adjustment right on the side, paddle style handle. It also rotates around the blade, which makes it really easy and comfortable to work into those tight spots. Very handy, especially for under hood areas, trunks, wheel wells, foot well areas. Very, very nice feature to have. The blade spins opposite of the push direction, creating a pinching motion. Very easy to control. And of course, we do have a depth stop to help protect whatever it is behind your panel. If you have two layers of metal that are flat against each other, or maybe some bracing behind what it is that you're cutting, this feature is going to be a lifesaver. The deburring tool is going to go hand in hand. Few things I like about this product. First off, we have a 90 degree head, solid alloy steel drivetrain inside. Still decently thin up top though, helps keep you nimble, makes the tight spots easier to get into. As far as the handle goes, again, a paddle trigger, adjustment knob for your airflow on the side. This bad boy also includes one Eastwood IPA 2 inch 3 in 1 diamond grinding wheel that has some abrasive on the top side of the wheel too, letting you very easily reach the burrs from both the outside and inside edges of the cut. I really like that. Both tools are going to require 4 CFM at 90 PSI. This kit does come with a few things in the box. You'll find all the Allen and collet wrenches you need to adjust these to. Two quick disconnect fittings with some thread sealant on there already, which is a really nice touch. A lot of tools don't include fittings at all, so the fact that this comes with two of them and you get some sealant on there, way to go team. You also get, of course, a two inch mounted diamond wheel for the deburring tool and a very high quality Lennox diamond cutting wheel for the saw. Last but certainly not least, Eastwood even backs both of these products with a solid one year warranty. As far as other costs go, really not much. Air tool oil, a set of safety goggles are always a must, of course. Good pair of gloves, I recommend that as well. Some marking fluid or Sharpie, and this does run off of air, so a small compressor is required. Now, if you do want to pick up each tool individually, you can. It will, of course, cost you a little more. I have detailed breakdown videos for both of these products posted if you're looking to dive into the nitty gritty of each one. I recommend checking those out. As always, I'll have those linked in the description box down below. But guys, that is going to do it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Joe. Make sure you keep it right here at Eastwood to do the job right.